Hey everyone, in tonight's video, I'm going to be reviewing a couple of cool new products from 100 Concepts, which is their new hex caps. For anyone who hasn't heard of 100 Concepts, uh, they're over the last couple of years, they're probably the most widely known and popular for their product that's known as the light cap. And I'm going to touch base on that a little bit uh, later in the video. Uh, but if, again, the focus was going to be on their hex caps, which were released about a month ago or so, give or take a couple weeks. Um, and what it is, is an anti-reflective device. Anti-reflective devices aren't anything new. They've been used for years. Uh, they're basically used to go onto the objective of a scope to cover up the glass and break up, help break up any type of glint that you may get off of a scope, um, whether that be at a large, uh, a great distance or even close up. Um, as you see here, my ACOG has the Tenebrex ARD or anti-reflective device. Um, you know, these have been out for years and years and years. Uh, I used to have one that went on my Aimpoint Comp M3. So while ARDs aren't exactly new, uh, they're not very widely distributed amongst many different optics. There isn't a lot of options out there for um, red dots, uh, especially for micro red dots. I know that they do make one for currently for the RMR. That one is made by Tenebrex as well. Uh, it slides onto the front of an RMR. I don't have any personal hands-on um, experience with it myself, uh, though I did see in one of Grand Thumb's videos that he said it does not stay on very well, uh, and typically what they do in the field is they will use a piece of duct tape to duct tape it down. Um, on top of that, for what it is, for such a little cover, the Tenebrex version is, it's not cheap. It's about 60 bucks on average. 100 Concepts, they have released uh, their version of it, uh, which is a bit of a more economical version. Uh, and they also offer it for many different red dot sites, such as the Holosun 403R, Holosun 403B, Holosun 503C, the Loophole Delta Point Pro, uh, any Aimpoint Micro Series, um, so that would be T2, H2. Uh, and that model is also cross compatible with the Holosun HS403C. Uh, and then, of course, we do have it on the Trigicon RMR, as you see here. And they also offer it for the Aimpoint Acro P2 and the Trigicon MRO. So, the models that I picked up, um, besides the RMR, uh, I also did pick up one for my Aimpoint H2. Well, I do own uh, a loophole Delta Point Pro. I have that on a 22 Ruger pistol. Didn't really feel the need to pick one up for that. And also with my Aimpoint Acro P2s, while I have two of those, I had already just picked up uh, two of the Tango Down uh, edge protectors. As seen here on my 18 inch build, anybody has familiarity with the Acro P2, it is relatively flat and the glass does sit almost flush with the edge of the optic. Uh, this is an aluminum version that secures the screw once it snaps on uh, and gives you a little bit of an edge in case you bump the front of it. Uh, it gives you some protection from the glass. Uh, these units were not cheap. I have two of these. I think each they were like $45 a piece. So other than that, um, I would have picked them up for uh, this gun, especially in particular. Um, but I don't even have an ARD on the primary optic itself, so not exactly in a rush to go get one. So all the models of the 100 Concepts ARD, uh, they range from either $30 to $35, depending on which model you get. Um, starting off here with the one for the RMR, you see it has the hexagon type shape profile on the front, or the honeycomb, um, which they claim uh, uh, completely eliminates any type of glare or glint from a 33 degree angle. Uh, and beyond and greatly reduces the glint signature um, looking straight in and inside from that 33 degrees. As you see from the RMR model, it just snaps on top of the optic itself. Um, there is a teeny little bit of wiggle room, as you see here as I move it, but nothing that feels like it's loose. In fact, I would take this off uh, to show you how easy it snaps on. Uh, but to be honest with you, with this model here, um, and the short, uh, the thin material that you have here, I don't want to risk snapping it off. So I'm going to go ahead and hold off on doing that. But you see it offers that um, you don't see any of the glass whatsoever. Uh, you still have easy access to the buttons. Uh, it does have clearance cuts for the windage and elevation screws um, on the optic itself. Uh, one thing, though, I will point out, I know when I'm at the range, when I make adjustments to my RMR, I'm typically doing it with like a penny or a dime. Um, I could see, depending on which degree your screw is currently slotted at, I can see the edge of this, regardless of the bevel that they have here, might cause you some issue in making some adjustment. Minor, minor gripe. Uh, you'll just have to find a different tool to go ahead and do it. I just wanted to go ahead and point that one out. Um, these are made out of a durable nylon polymer, so they are extremely lightweight, um, and they are all one piece. So there's no additional hardware that's needed. 
um, pieces that you have to snap together. Uh, it just comes out of the package and you snap it onto your... As you see here for the model uh, for the Aimpoint H2, and this is also cross compatible with the Vortex Crossfire RDS. Now they do say on their website that each each hex cap that they list is specific for that model, though they are continually uh, continuing to collect data to find other cross compatibility. Uh, now this one here you see it simply slips on and slips off. Uh, you see a little bit of the profile of the hex cap itself in very thin, very lightweight, while at the same time feeling durable enough. Once you slide it onto the optic, uh, there you see uh, 100 Concepts uh, logo on the front, um, and it tells you that the uh, tells you the model that fits on the bottom here. So simply slides on, in no hardware needed uh, to attach it. I haven't actually fired with this yet. Um, it is a snug fit. It's not a super tight fit. Uh, I'm interested to see once I go do shoot this thing, uh, whether I have any issues with it flying off the optic or not. I would like to assume that 100 Concept had tested that out quite a bit in their R&D in determining the final inner, uh, inner diameter here. Uh, as you see here, I do have a, there's a little bit of layer of extra material that comes with the spray paint. So I have confidence that, that it's gonna stay on no problem, uh, but I guess time will tell. So it's very hard for me to catch video of viewing through the optic so you can see what it looks like because the way that my camera is, which is simply my cell phone, wants to autofocus. So I will drop in some pictures that I took viewing it through the Aimpoint um, H2 with the ARD attached along with the RMR. So if you have any of those red dots or optics listed that I named off, um, and I would also continue to go to their website and check for new product availability or cross fit function. Um, but if you have any of those optics and you are looking for an ARD, uh, go check out 100 Concepts. Uh, it's really pretty simple, very lightweight, very low profile, and pretty economical offering in comparison to some of the offerings that are out there right now currently offered by Tenebrex uh, Aimpoint themselves. Now I'd like to talk about another 100 Concepts product, and I think this is the one that really helped kind of put them on the map. And this is their uh, light cap. And what their light cap simply is, is just like the name implies, it is a cap that goes over your light, um, along with the glass uh, on your optic that can give glint and give away your position. Uh, the next closest thing, and maybe even possibly more, would be the bezel or the reflector from your weapon mounted light. Um, I know over the over the years I've seen some people buy um, some of the scope caps, Butler Creek scope caps, you know, the measure of the diameter of the flashlight head, they'll buy a scope cap for it, um, you know, whatever, if it works, it works. It doesn't have to be super anything super fancy. Um, <clears throat> and 100 Concepts, they took their design. Very similar. Uh, same material as their hex caps. As you see here, it has the 100 Concepts logo on there. Uh, these come in different sizes. And if you go on their website, they do have a table um, listed that, you know, depending on which light you have. And what they have listed are Surefire M300, M600 Scout Series lights, the Vampire IR models, X300s, G2 models, 660 slash KM3s, along with the Streamlight ProTac Rail Mount 1 and 2 and HLX, uh, along with the Cloud Defensive Rain, Rain Micro and Owl, and also Rain 2. Um, also, also the mod light series heads, whether it be the OKW, IR, or PLH, uh, you know, nothing listed for the, um, the newer, I believe it's called the HOG. Um, also fits the Malkov series lights, the E1HT, E2HT, E2XT models, and also the Inforce MWL slash WMLX. Uh, and they're not specifically fit for each light itself it's not a perfect fit as you see here on my light here there is a little bit of wiggle room but considering serving its purpose it doesn't need to be a slight fit a, a super tight fit in fact i wouldn't think that you would want it to because the convenience of this um, product is you can just simply reach up and flick it off your light like so so if this was a super snug fit it would not want to pop off quite that easy you would probably have to lift it straight up and out wouldn't be quite as fast so um on the table with the weapon lights that I just named off, they will tell you whether you need a small, medium, 
or large light cap. What you get included once you buy the light cap is obviously the light cap itself. You will get two colors of shot cord, whether it be this coyote flat dark earth color or black, along with the ranger band. And simply how the light cap works is you see it, you, you take the shot cord, uh, you'll tie it out at one end, you'll loop it around in a cross X pattern, uh, pick a spot to for it, the cord to come behind. In this case, it's picking up behind the uh, mount itself. Wrap it up and then you will tie another knot. And once you install the Ranger Man, which will keep it, uh, you know, in a, once, you, once you pop off your cap, it'll keep it from just dangling off the gun and falling off or falling off the light. Um, pretty simple, just like that. Easy on, easy off. Now I did pick up several of these. Um, I, I bought, I have several Mod Light PLHV2s. Uh, I have a couple of Cloud Defensive Rain 3.0s. Uh, and I also have a Rain 1.0 or first generation. Um, so uh, I, I, I screwed up when I ordered the one for my Cloud Rain uh, first generation. With the first generation Rain, the bezel is quite a bit larger um, than especially the Rain 2.0 and, and even the 3.0. Uh, but fortunately, I had ordered some of the scope caps, and I'll talk about that in a minute here. Um, and the scope cap that I had ordered for the objective end of my uh, Vortex Razor ended up working perfectly. It might even be the same product, but as you see, mounts on the same way. All of them are exactly the same function. They just come in different sizes. Um, this one fits pretty well. See, there's a little bit of a slightly beveled edge. Make it easy for you to flip that down and get it off of the light to allow you to activate your light. Um, why would you? Why else would you want to use these besides giving away glint um, in case of uh, any type of negligent discharge of your light? That would also also possibly give away your position. You know, depending on where your pressure switch is, which you can see on my gun here, which is my Zion uh, 15, I have it exactly where I grip. So if I was taking a grip, it is very easy for me to, as I grip and, and shoot the gun, it would be very easy for me uh, to negligently discharge my light. Having the scope cap on there, I mean, there is no light that comes through there whatsoever. Uh, I will touch real quick on their scope caps. Uh, that is another product that they make. They do come in many different sizes, ranging from small, medium, large, uh, and ocular, extra large, 2XL, 3XL. And they do list that diameters on there. So if you simply measure um, whether it's the eyepiece or the objective, uh, go measure that on the scope that you desire to get a scope cap for, um, and then you order the appropriate piece. So as long as it's the same diameter, slightly larger, you're good to go. So those mount the exact same way that the light caps do. Pretty much same design as you saw on my Rain 1. That was actually an ocular scope cap for my um, my Razor here. You cross the shock, uh, shock cord, loop it through the mount. Um, at, at the end of the day, it just wasn't for me, uh, between the two eye pieces and even just even having on one of them, I wasn't really a fan of how the, um, shot cord looked. It just looked really busy. I get it. You know, it's, it should be function over form. Uh, but you know, half the, half the, half the reason we do a lot of this stuff is so it looks cool. Right. And, and that's actually probably more important. Just kidding. So, um, many, many different sizes available. If you are looking for scope caps, you're not happy with the offerings that are out there. Um, a very economical, uh, offering from them. You know, they do range in price from $17, uh, clicking through the site here, uh, up to $24, depending on which size that you get. So go check out their website. Um, there are other products that they offer as well. I want to say that those are probably what they're definitely their most famous for. Um, they have their scrim series, uh, coverings for helmets, for packs. Uh, they have chem light kits, key silencers, um, pull forward adapters. So go check them out at 100concepts.com. And if you go on their website and you log in for an account and you sign up for the email alerts, you will get 15% off of your first order. Um, that's what I did. The first order that I placed, uh, when I did pick up the hex caps, um, you, when they first dropped, they sold out pretty quickly. I did just order, started ordering the hex caps first. Um, and then luckily and very generously of the company, once you uh, place an order with them, they sent me, uh, another email. Uh, and I think it was due to the fact that I was an early, um, an early subscriber or early, you know, person who picked up their hex caps, uh, early. So they gave me another 15% off discount and that's when I picked up all of the different various uh, light caps and then attempted to try out their scope caps. So again, you're looking for an ARD 
for uh, any of the red dots that I listed if you're looking for their light caps. Uh, that's one of the other things I think is probably definitely one of their most uh, useful products. Uh, definitely very cool. Um, or if you're looking for scope caps, uh, go check them out, 100concepts.com. Uh, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and it was helpful for you. Uh, if you liked it, please like it, uh, subscribe to the channel, share. I uh, definitely appreciate all of the new subscribers I've been getting, uh, coming up into 1,000 uh, subscribers. So I appreciate you all. Uh, definitely appreciate the feedback and comments that I've been getting also. Uh, keep, keep them coming. I love interacting with you guys. So thank you very much.